Hassan Campbell is a troll. Hassan Campbell is selling his soul to the internet, especially to YouTube. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um, we're going to talk about today how Hassan, Hassan Campbell is bullying my son, the rapper, the activist, and how how many times are you going to put my son name in your videos, or how many times are you going to disrespect Tamika Mallory, a fellow black woman out here, doing what she needs to do for our people? My son is out here fighting the fight. Hassan, you're confused. Because you're saying that why every time a black kid is shot in the streets or why when there's all these uh, shootings going on in Chicago and all these different things, you're asking why Tamika Mallory and why my son is not there and why they're not bringing any light to that. You've never asked them, have you? Black Lives Matter is a fight against police brutality. But they're not a part of Black Lives Matter. Even though they're my son... And Tamika Mallory may not be like representatives of Black Lives Matter. But what I'm telling you is what they fight for is police brutality. So if all of these things are going on, black on black crime or little kids are being shot, it's not by the police. Anytime a black person is being shot down by the police, you see what fight they choose to stick behind. Hassan, you claim to be so righteous but what you're doing on the internet for money, because you obviously have admitted that you do this solely for the money. I don't know what are you looking for. I'm going to pray for you, brother. We're going to pray for your kids. We're going to pray for your wife. Uh, we pray that you pay every every bill that you say that you're paying. Oh, and another the other day you said that um, real men pay bills. And you were complaining about all these bills that you had to pay in the house. But... What you did not say is these are the things that you want for your house. These are the things that you're putting out there. So you're talking about uh, your kids can't go out because of the shit that you're saying on the Internet. The people that you're disrespecting on the Internet. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should watch what you say. You can get the same type of attention with positive stuff. You can get the same type of attention talking about uh, child molestation, which you say you are an advocate for. You can get that same type of attention. Shout out to Ten Toes Down. Shout out to Shaft. Because I think Shaft has your card. Shaft and Kwame Brown have your card. Well, Shut up. Shut up. We do. Shaft, holla at me. We need to team up and we need to do some videos. Because we need to make sure Hassan is held accountable for the shit that he's saying to the youth. He said that he doesn't give a fuck about the youth because he just cares about who he is raising in his own household. He's a walking contradiction. Everybody contradicts themselves. We get that. But Hassan, you can't say one minute that you're here for the youth and you judging other YouTubers for the shit that they're saying that's condemning the youth. And then you get on the next day and say the same shit. We understand that you just doing everything for clickbait. We understand that. I watched Hassan from the beginning. I seen Hassan the victim. I seen Hassan grow into a YouTuber, a big YouTuber, as he says. And then I see him fight to stay on top. So right now, he is so scared to let anybody into his world. His world is the YouTube. So if he see any uh, celebrity, any basketball player, any uh, battle rapper, anybody in general that may get a little bit of fame off of YouTube, mm -hmm. he's going to attack. He's going to attack. He is scared for his life. And everybody out there, we're all feeding into it. You know why we're feeding into it? We're all watching. We wonder why Hassan is so big. How did Hassan get so fucking big? Hassan got so big because of the train wreck. We all want to watch him fail. So in the midst of us all wanting to watch him fail, we're feeding into the growth. We're feeding into growing his page. Everybody wants to see Mayweather take a loss. So everybody always buy the pay-per-view knowing damn well it's a fixed fight. We all want to see Mayweather take a loss, but we know it's a fixed but, fight already. But, but, but what Hassan needs to do is he needs to stop asking people like my son and Tamika Mallory where they at. And he needs to worry about that. Okay. Everybody have their own fight. Like everybody let's, has their own thing. He need if that if that matters so much, why don't he go out there? Why don't Hassan. he put his funds into 
helping these black boys and these young mothers and yeah, everybody yeah. else that's struggling. Hassan. To, you know, like he need to do something about that. Hassan, you're questioning my son and Tamika Mallory. Where are they at every time there's a black shooting in the neighborhood? Every time there's multiple shootings in Chicago? Every time there's these shootings in New York? There was just a big shooting in Queens. Um, Where are you every time I turn on the TV, I turn on the YouTube, and I see child molestation charges? I see rape charges. I see all these channels out here, Catch a Predator, uh, Dad Against Predators, yes. Predator Approachers. Where is your channel catching these child molesters? You said... This is your words, that this was your fight. Now, when it's time to get out here and fight, and now that your page is so big where you can actually make an impact, this is the time where you don't want to talk about shit but celebrity beef and celebrity drama. Hassan, you came from the conscious community. Am I right or am I wrong? And if you're not conscious, that's what you tried to portray to be. If you're not conscious, that's what you portrayed to be. You talk about Sinetta TV, you talked about his wife, you talked about his kids, but you also told another brother that you purposely put your kids on YouTube so that they could do, uh, so they could do a, um, so they could send in money or so they could do a super chat. So you purposely put your kids in front of the camera, knowing that they could be scrutinized for the disease that they have or for how some people may look at their disability, knowing that you're exploiting them. But you still will do that. You know what my... No, I'm going to just talk about this. You know what my problem is with my, my, uh, Hassan? Hassan Kemba. Yeah. Kemba. The problem with him is that... I want you to see this, Hassan. No, this is a fact. I though. want you to see this. What be killing me is that he all... When he get into it with people, or he, his first thing is, oh, why you ain't do nothing when this person did something? Why you ain't do nothing when that we person We want to know did why didn't you do anything? All right, let's break this down, right? I'm going to break this down for you, Hassan. Um, you said that you were in a, now I went back and watched the old video with Tommy Sotomayor and you said you was 12 years old when African Ben Body did what he did to you, right? So you was 12 years old, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 30s and 40s, you were still around African Ben Body. Now you claim to be a victim of, what is it called? What's the syndrome called? Where uh, where the rape Stockholm victim. syndrome. You claim to be uh, a victim of Stockholm syndrome. Now, Hassan, you were selling dogs. You got those dogs from Africa Bambada. Africa Bambada got into a beef with a young Puerto Rican boy that stabbed him that he tried to take advantage of. You were supposed to be the muscle to take that young boy out. You never had a real falling out with Africa Bambada till he got mad and he took those dogs back. Correct. Also, Africa Bambada, right? You said you said this too. You said that you don't give a fuck what everybody is doing as far as documentaries or as far as taking Africa Bambada to jail solely because that man apologized to you in a room full of people. These room full of people, the people that you're talking about, these Zulu Nation members, are the same people that you cursed out a week after you said he gave you that apology to you. And after that, you were still saying that you wanted the death of Africa Bambada. So are you really concerned with his apology? Or were you really just saying that for clout at the time? Hassan, 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 is, Hassan is a liar. Hassan just met. It's just weird. Hassan is judged. He judged so much. But why do you... Why haven't you still done anything to Africa being bothered? Hassan talks about the dirty section of YouTube. Obviously, we're in the dirty section of YouTube right now. But did you not come from the dirty section of YouTube, Hassan? No, did, let's get to this, though. Did Pissy, no. Pissy Poppy. Pissy Poppy is what they used no, to call no, you, let's right? Let's get to this, though. He always asks the people, why, why you didn't do nothing to this person when this happened? Why you didn't do nothing to that person when it happened? No, why didn't you do nothing to Africa being bothered? And I want everybody to You've know. You've been following this man, and you really did, and that's why you hate the that's why you hate the music industry so bad because you really sold yourself just so you could be where a lot of these people is at, and you can't and and you and, and every day you look at these people and you just mad because you can't believe you sold yourself short to be a grown man. You went after another man that you're a male groupie. Him. You're yeah, a male groupie. He went, uh, he went after another signing man. off, robbing the culture, part two soon to come.